Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another session of our Planet Zoo franchise mode let's play. Where we're headed back to Elite Zoo South and things are a little bit different. Those of you who are here right now are very, very well aware that this is a live stream session as opposed to the uh, usual uh, VOD style session. I thought this would be a nice way to kind of get back into the groove of things because uh, it has been some time since we've been at this zoo. It has been some time. I'll be completely honest, to a certain degree, it was starting to kind of get fuzzy in my head exactly where we were, exactly what we were going to do next. But then this morning, I kind of sat down and thought about it and I remembered exactly where my, my head was at, exactly what I wanted to do next. And uh, in fact, earlier this week, the first thing I remembered was our uh, our trade center is completely full. <laughs> so that's something we're going to have to take care of ASAP because we're not going to be able to get any new animals into our zoo without first emptying out that uh, that trade center. Now, hopefully some of y'all kept up with my um, sort of mini series that I did with the Southeast Asia Pack DLC. And if you did, then you would have caught me sort of mentioning that we'll be doing this session live. Uh, I know it's not the most convenient time for everybody. I know it's not the most ideal format for everybody either. Uh, but at the same time, it sort of worked wonderfully last time for everybody who it was convenient for. Uh, the, the, the series included, I think it was convenient for, because that was the first time in a very long time we were actually able to trade out a lot of our animals, if not, if not all of our animals. Um, so, uh, so yeah, that's why we're back with another live stream session. Uh, we're going to, uh, we're going to do a bit of trading. We're, we're going to be, I'm going to be honest, we're going to be doing a fair bit of trading. Uh, and I'll actually kick things off with that because I do recall seeing quite a few comments here and there, uh, with the previous session, especially, uh, about folks wanting to like, yeah, pick up some animals, but like the timing being not necessarily convenient. So I want to do that right off the bat. So anybody who's here for the animals is able to pick them up, uh, right off the bat. And then we will, uh, actually discuss some plans as well with regards to what comes next. Oh man, it has been a long time since I've seen this zoo. Um, and, and this was our last sort of completed project day over here. Uh, I'm glad not only that we were able to like sort of finish this before uh, before that DLC dropped, but also the, uh, the the episode number was nice and round. It was nice round episode 90. Uh, folks, before I do dive into all the trading and everything, though, I just want to say a warm welcome to all of y'all who are joining in today. Again, I totally appreciate it. it's not the best time uh, for everybody. In fact, for myself as well, it's midnight right now. So, you know, a bit of an interesting time to, to kick off a stream. Uh, but thank you all for uh, for joining in. I hope uh, we're able to have a wonderful time together today. Uh, again, I would I would go through and uh, and and name drop basically everybody. Uh, let's see if we can, let's see how far we can get over here. So we got Jam Slam, Dragon Faye, Natalie P, Tabby Tastic. We've got I Love Your Zoos. We've got My Name Is Not Bob. <laughs> Hi, not Bob. It, I'm party elite. Uh, we got Beth Robertson. We got uh, we got we got who, who else we have over here? We have over here uh, Talachant. Yes, we have da -da -da, a lot of Talachant. Yes. <laughs> Remember, folks, I have a key rule about not spamming. Don't spam. That's your one and only warning. Don't spam. Spamming is never okay. I will time. I will time folks out uh, if uh, if y'all start spamming. Um, and Ease is joining us as well coming through at like five in the morning your time isn't it easy we we're mentioning earlier today so i got a moderator backing me up as well in chat thank you very much for coming through buddy this is is this the first time you're ever watching any planet zoo uh we've also got with us uh farah yasmin of the rahim cannot wait me neither buddy me neither uh we also have zev benjamin coming through david ibarra how's it going buddy wickles how fares how fares Catching your family. Won't be here for long. All right, well, we'll get we'll get right to it ASAP. Fear not. Brenda Whitaker, how goes? How goes? Uh, we also have with us... Uh, I love seeing the back... I love seeing the conversation in chat as well. It's beautiful. I love that I have to scroll so much to, like, to, like, see all the names and stuff. Cole Perry, Renee Albrechtson, how fares? How fares? We also... I, I have seen Godzilla vs. Kong. It was fun. The movie knew what it was about. We got Snow Queen pictures. We have... Oh, great. YouTube just jumped. Chat just, like, jumped a bunch. Uh, we got Taylor Sirra. I hope I saying that right. Uh, Jose Talamentes. I hope I got that right as well. SM, how fares? Midnight for you, too. Same here. Aleutian Umbrian. Brian Curdy. Five in the morning. Yeah, that's... Uh, that is some serious dedication. Some mad props for Ease, actually. Showing up. <laughs> to moderate a stream for a game he doesn't play not just doesn't play but doesn't really follow or anything um and at five in the morning of all things 
<laughs> Thank you very much, man. Uh, Riley Martin, how's it going? Derek Alam, Jessica Watson. How fares? KM Artonicus, 2 p.m. in Melbourne. Oh, that's a, that's a comfier time. Zafamo, Angel Graves, Lizzie C, Sarah Pedocci. All right. Shall we get this party started? I think I'd, uh, I'd be going for a while if I kept going with the names. I hope y'all don't mind. I hope I didn't miss anybody. I think I caught almost everybody. We've got Amar 11 Sai as well. I, th- I hope I-, I apologize if I missed you. I will catch you, though. Keep chatting in chat. I will catch you. Uh, but let's go ahead and, uh, and get things started with some animal trading, right? Final college project is officially turned in. This is a refreshing treat. Well, congratulations. That's a, that's a huge step. Congratulations. <laughs> How am I doing? I'm doing fantastic. I'm going to be doing even better <laughs> once this uh, animal storage is a little bit emptier. 49 out of 50. How did we let it get this bad? You know, I know exactly how because I wanted to trade these animals and I didn't want to just let them go. And so now here we are. I think it's fun too, though. I think it's fun like sharing animals. Like I know, for example, uh, I love your zoos. I have, I, I have had some of your animals. The Elder Gamer, how's it going, buddy? So yeah, like I said, keep chatting. I will catch you. Heather Davis, how fares, how fares. But yeah, like for example, I have some of I Love Your Zoo's uh, animals and it's always fun for me to be like, hey, I, re- I recognize this name from the comments or from chat and whatnot. I think that stuff's, I think that stuff's really fun. Um, so yeah, I, I guess it goes like, I guess it, like it, it goes both ways in my head. I hope it goes both ways in some of your heads as well. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just planting thoughts here, but that's, uh, that's, my, that's my mindset. Um, do I think we need a planet aquarium? I saw your question. Asking once is, is enough. You're not... Um, I, 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 I'm not a big aquarium guy. I feel like it could be... Um, actually, you know what? That's a lie. Ripley's Aquarium here in Toronto is pretty dope. Yeah, I think they could do an interesting thing with the, with the Planet Aquarium kind of thing. Um, all right, what was I... What was I, I, I going to get at? Right, animal trading. Let's get into it, shall we? So uh, I guess we'll just kind of go in order of... Uh, from top to bottom i see well let's go ahead and organize by species so at least it's a bit more organized i'll take a look at like average pricing and as as always we'll try and beat average pricing we'll get we'll get better prices though uh every once in a while we'll do some we'll do some meme pricing like we did last time as well with the trade session i did see somebody ask how much red five would go for red five is not for sale red five is not for sale i cannot too much uh too much love there <laughs> red five will stay immortal in my uh trade setter uh so i guess the first animal is uh the african wild dog we've got only the one african wild dog do we have any like takers right off the bat <laughs> do i don't want to do like a bidding war that's weird we haven't done like a bidding kind of a thing but if there are any particular uh fans of the african wild dog or the african painted dog uh i am not selling for 10k i'm not doing any nonsense like that uh, am i ever gonna do mods mods for for planet zoo i don't know i've seen some interesting uh i have seen some interesting animal mods out there like there was like a whale or something and I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Alyssa Stanton, what are the chances your Warhog just passed the one that you picked up last time? What? Are, that's, uh, that's like almost uh, perfect timing. <laughs> Natalie, you're so right. Ease gets to watch me do some inventory management. That's so true. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do the, these wild dogs go for? Like 300s, 400s? I feel like, I feel like, uh, sure, 350 seems like a fair price. Uh, after the trade session, we should go around adding new exhibit animals in the South American section. I don't think we'll have enough time for that today, to be uh, perfectly honest. We're going to be going for like an hour, hour and a half or so. i got some plans to chill with uh, Miss Elite afterwards. We're going to maybe catch a movie or play some video games together or something. Uh, try and have a chill Friday late <laughs> late night it's gonna be like one o'clock when we're done uh, but that's that's kind of the plan so uh and i'm using that as a way to kind of like stop myself from rambling and ranting as well as as, as you guys are very well familiar with uh, with my general approach so all right zubeda our african wild dog i said oh this is they've changed how this goes why, why would you do that why would you change this <laughs> i gotta scroll down they've added more clicks and more scrolling in like so many parts of the ui and i just don't understand why why <laughs> why um i don't know well lately uh, my name is not bob i see your air quotes lately um she's been playing uh divinity original sin 2 and i've been like working like scripting or whatever writing or whatever on the side and wa- like playing vicariously through her uh so probably that though we uh we often play um Oh, like uh, Overcooked, for examples. We got three stars across Overcooked. Overcooked, two, three stars across everything as well. But uh, the DLC, there's still some remaining. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead with 300. I feel like that's a fair price. So Zobeda, And if you catch, if you, if you pick these guys up, let me know in chat. And hopefully I'll catch it. Like tag me and let me know. 
Uh, remember to say the animal's name to make it easy to look for the animal. Good point, Dragon Face. So we have Zubaida. That's Z U B A I D A H. Or if you are so inclined, Z U B A I D A H. African wild dog, up for trade, price of 300, so it will be on the lower end. Up you go. All right, there we go. That's number one. Next up, we have our Aldabra giant tortoises. 300 is too cheap? Uh, probably, but like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be reasonable, I guess, with the prices. I'm seeing some like 300. It's like, right now it's either 300 or 400 or 500. I thought, whatever, 300. We have the one. Uh, it'll, it'll get, uh, we have plenty of opportunity uh, to make conservation credits here. <laughs> I think we'll be fine. Aldabra giant tortoises. All right, how much do you babies go for? Uh, da -da -da, over here. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. I, I knew I'd figure it out eventually. It is funny, though, coming back to this zoo and coming back to, like, screens that I didn't necessarily deal with a lot with the miniseries. Is everything going for 500, 400 these days? Has it been, like, a market crash or something? Love tortoises, they're so cute. Well, there's going to be a handful coming up on uh, on the market real soon. Uh, they did mention the last update. They know about the click issue and are working on it. <laughs> Hopefully sometime soon. This game has been out for a year and a half. To not be able to click in a video game is kind of a... It's an interesting... It's an interesting... Uh, um, it's interesting. Let's put it that way. Uh, I'm not going to release them all. It's a trade session. That wouldn't be... That wouldn't be trading. Uh... Let's go with, I think 400 is, is I mean, these guys are low quality, though. Let's let's be real. All of my Aldabra Giant tortoises are gold tier, so we can go higher than these guys, actually. I'd say 1,000 isn't a bad price, right? I'd say 1,000 is, isn't, a, isn't, a, isn't a bad price. What do you think, chat? Beth Robertson just found out we're expecting baby number three. What names would you suggest? Well, first of all... Congratulations. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, yeah, wow, congratulations. Name suggestions? I <laughs> Naming is like the thing I'm worst at. I was literally going to make a tweet earlier today about how in Stellaris, the first thing you need to do is like name, put down like seven different names, and I was struggling so hard with it. Like literally, it was, it was something I was going to talk about how difficult it is for me to name stuff. But congratulations, that's absolutely huge. What kind of names are you looking for? I mean, I don't know. I'm, uh, <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Uh, I have not been to, uh, oh god, Oregon, or, or, see, every time I go to say Oregon, or, Oregon, Oregon, I think of oregano, I can never say Oregon properly, I always think of oregano, but no, I have not been there, let alone, uh, to the zoo, 10,000 is not a price I'm looking at for, <laughs> for these animals, let's go, let's go with 1,000, let's go 700 to 900, we're, we're thinking, uh, you know what, let's go with 800, let's go right down the middle of that number I see there, 1,000 ain't bad, white turtles, Sure, let's go, let's go 800. All right, uh, so first off, we have Adolfo over here. Adolfo going up. The Aldabra giant tortoise. Albino, too, actually. I didn't even... These are all albino. Oh, my God. All right, cool. Well, let's uh, trade. Oh. This time, I didn't have to scroll. You know what? Listen, I'm going to... I'll take my blessings as they come. I will, I will take my blessings as they come. Have you considered Party Elite as a modern name? <laughs> oh, God, now it's back. What was that? Oh, my God. Sometimes I swear. All right, let's go ahead. Trade. So that's uh, Adolfo up for trade. Nuru is up next. Again, we're just going to go with the same price over here. Nuru is going up for trade as well for 800. And Lutalo is our next Aldabra giant tortoise. Also going up for 800. So that is Adolfo, Nuru, and Lutalo, or Aldabra giant tortoises, all albino going up for 800 apiece. Sean Nathan coming through as our latest member. Thank you very much as a warden, no less. Thank you so very much for that support. As I'm sure you're tired of hearing by now, that kind of support really helps the channel really keeps us alive, running smoothly. I appreciate it greatly. Throw up those flags. Natalie P is on it already. Throw up those flags. Throw up those E's. A warm welcome for uh, Sean Nathan. Uh, thanks for the support, bud. I should mention as well, again, um, next session, I will put out the official call for animal sponsorships and uh, staff naming. I've got some requests already written down. Um, but I figure not everyone's here in the live stream. People might miss it if they don't watch it. So next session, I will put out the call for it. And the session after that, we will be we will begin implementing to, uh, uh, you know, to, to kind of get the ball rolling back on that. I didn't want to do it for the uh, like side, like the side series, like the mini series. So um, we'll, we'll be back on that fear. Not we have another. Oh, Morowa over here. I completely forgot to <laughs> miss Morrow over here. That's on me. Go ahead and trade Morowa 
for 800 That is another Aldabra Giant Tortoise. There you go. And Sean Nathan coming through with a super chat as well. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it greatly. I thank you. <laughs> kicking my uh, kicking my Saturday off on a on a very high note. Not just hanging out with all y'all, but seeing that kind of support come through. I appreciate it greatly. Uh, feel no pressure. My name is not Bob. Feel no pressure. Uh, again, like I say, always no obligation. I appreciate the support. I appreciate the viewership, the likes, the comments. Ever, it's it. So feel no pressure, ever. All right. Uh, so that is our Aldabra giant tortoises done. We got Baird's tapirs up next. God, man, the Malayan tapirs reminded me just how cute tapirs are. Not even just like the babies. Tapirs are just adorable. And I stand by what I said during my miniseries. I would love to like hug a Baird's tapir. There's this one, um, there's this one YouTube channel. Uh, oh, I can't remember the name. Uh, Dodo, the Dodo channel. Ease, if you're still in chat and if you're still awake, if you're somehow still awake at like 530 in the morning over there. Uh, we've we've shared videos of these guys. I think it's the Dodo channel, and they often cover stories about um, uh, people who have rehabilitated animals that are uh, you know not your regular type of pet and whatnot. Uh, the Dodo is it the Dodo? Yeah, A wonderful channel. And I like every time I watch those, I go like, man, I could I would want to live this life. I would I would love to help rehabilitate uh, rehabilitate animals, and it, it would be so cool. <laughs> It'd be so cool. Gonna try and crochet a tip. Tapir? Oh man, share please. I love watching. I love seeing a good uh, crochet. Uh, what are those things called as well? Uh, Ami Ami Garumi. Uh, Ami uh, Ami Oh man. Hopefully you know what I'm getting at there. Sean coming through with a donation as well. Is this the same, Sean? <laughs> Thank you very much, buddy. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Um, uh, Rob no, I will not be playing Roblox. It doesn't. It doesn't do anything for me. So no, no Roblox for me. Uh, Thea, you're headed headed off. Or you, you hanging in there? Nissar, how's it going, buddy? Glad you can make it today. <laughs> yep, same one, says Sean Nathan. Thanks a lot, man. That means a lot. I appreciate it greatly. Tapirs for around 300 to 500. Yeah, we got... There are none on the market right now. So let's let's go with... Uh, let's go with 400. I spent a month in an elephant rehab center in India decades ago. It was an interesting experience. That sounds awesome, man. Oh, that sounds awesome. I don't know. It's I I love I love um basically like 90% of animals uh I think are fascinating. Um I would I would, I think it'd be a fun thing to 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 be a part of. Um all right, we have our first Baird's tapir going up for 400. I think is a fair price. Yes, Amigurumi. Thank you. I wasn't sure if I was missing a syllable there. Amigurumi. I love that stuff. That stuff is absolutely awesome. In Uruguay, we have some capybaras. Oh, what? Oh, man, capybaras are adorable. <laughs> 450? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's do 450. I think that's a fair price. Again, there are none on the market right now. So, Baird's Tapir number one, going up for 450. The name is Sochitl. That's Sochitl, that is X O C H I T L. X O C H I T L. Or 450. So, it's going to be the only animals up for uh, conservation credit. So, it should be pretty easy to find. Up you go. And you know what? Quaella over here is how I'm uh, like guessing that's pronounced, uh, is gold tier. So why don't we go with like 600 there? I think that's fair. Farah, thank you very much for the kind words. I appreciate it. Never realized how fun it would be to play with baby elephants. Oh man, <laughs> they almost drowned you several times. Seeing elephants interact with humans is some of the most interesting stuff. They, It's just some of the most fascinating stuff that I've seen. Like that one video of the elephant that like grabs the uh, the hat off the guy and then puts the hat on his own head and then puts the hat back on the guy's head. Like, is that not <laughs> like how crazy is that? Right? Like it's clearly recognizing like head. To, uh, I think it's I think it's wild. Waiting for Planet Zoo to include rabbits so they can name one Elizabeth. <laughs> name just name them all Elizabeth. Elizabeth the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth. Just all Elizabeth. All right, Koeya, that's C-U-A-L-L-E-A, -L -L -E going up for sale at 600 conservation credits. Again, one of the few that'll be up there. One of the one of the two that'll be up there. Uh, moving on, we got a bunch of dingoes coming up next. All right, let's see what the dingoes go for over here. I am hoping that we're able to empty the, uh, like last time we did a trade session, it was great. We went from a entire, I think it was an entirely full um, uh, trade center to more or less an entirely empty one. Like Red 5 stuck around, obviously, but otherwise it was basically entirely empty, so... Hmm, no dingoes on the market either, eh? 
We have no filters on here. Oh, what's a good price for a dingo? It's weird. What's up with the market these days, eh? Went to Toronto Zoo as a kid, and they had a petting zoo area <laughs> where a goat started trying to eat my mom's jacket. We still, at, uh, at, in, at Toronto, every year we have uh, the X, uh, it's called, which is like a, a, it's like a country fair where they bring a petting zoo. Uh, you can, well, actually, I guess it's not a petting zoo. No, it's not a petting zoo. You can't actually pet the animals. You have to keep a distance from them. But they're all farm animals, horses, goats, cows. You can get close enough that one would eat, uh, eat a jacket. But, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's fun to be around. I don't know. Grabbing some teas. Sounds good, man. <laughs> sounds good. Maybe 400 to 500. I see a 300. I see a couple 300s. 666. <laughs> don't, don't dingoes have a bad enough rap already? Let's go with, uh, let's, let's, let's go with, let's go with, let's go with, let's go with 333. How about that? Finding a, <laughs> finding a, a middle ground across the board there. Uh, oh, these guys, no one, no one's picking any of these lovelies up. Oh, these poor guys. What if I, what if I, yeah, oh, oh, these animals need homes. All right, dingoes, let's go. Let's go with the dingoes. So first up we have Oscar. Go ahead and trade you for 333. Next up, we have Joshua as well. Trade you for 333. Ding gotta make them an offer they can't refuse. My God. 3,300 Jam Slam. You know what? I'll, I'll do one just for you at that price. How about that? How about that? All right. So 333 for this one. And then that's Eli going up for sale as well at 333. And then Noah going up for 3,300. There you go. Bam. There's our moneymaker right there. Selling Oscars. Isn't it Oscar season soon? Isn't it like next weekend or something? I don't know. I don't follow, I don't follow the Oscars, but I was talking about it with a friend recently. It was like next weekend, right? You can grab an early Oscar over here. Galapagos a Giant Tortoise is up next. Are there any of these on the market? If this is what the market is like when I come back to Elitsu South next uh, next week, then uh, <laughs> it's going to be kind of weird. It's going to be kind of awkward. Galapagos a Giant Tortoises. All right. What do we got over here? Now, what is this? What's going on? I can't be the only one who's confused, right? Folks, I want to mention as well, on the topic of things that confuse me, we were just over 100 viewers, but our like count has stayed at roughly this 59 for a while. If you enjoy Planet Zoo, if you enjoy these live streams, if you like hanging out, chilling, hit that like button. It really helps me just kind of know what to do or not do down the line when, uh, you know, when decision making time comes. I never like saying, oh, smash that like button, but it, it does make a big difference. It's why I bring it up like once or twice here and there. Uh, and I, I thank you very much. Again, it does it does just help me after the stream got to get an idea of uh, what's good, basically. All right, what are we looking at over here? Uh, oh, wow, looks like we've had some... Uh, looks like everybody found a home. Y'all are awesome. <laughs> Forgot to like? No worries. Thanks for... Uh, thanks for you know, it's so the first time... There's some interesting insight as like a... Let me know, by the way, uh, 777 for the price. This is the first price I'm seeing. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Um, so just some, just some insight again, don't take this to mean any, there's no like deeper meaning here or anything as uh, Jorge over here, J O R G E Jorge goes up for sale at 777 Louise to follow as well. Um, there was one time a long time ago now, two years ago or something. I was asked like, why do you mention, uh, that people should subscribe? Obviously if they're watching your video, they're subscribed and, and people separately were also saying like, why do you, why do, why do YouTubers do this thing of like asking people to like, like if I liked your video, I'll like it. It's like, well, you think that, but truth be told, the reminder re does actually work in letting people know. It's a call to action. And again, this was my like job before YouTubing. Call to actions work. And so when somebody says, hey, if you had a good time, leave a like, for the vast majority of people, the response is, oh yeah, I did have a good time. I should like. And then for some folks, it's just like, oh, yeah, dude, I liked it. Or I hated this video. Why would I like it? But, but it, again, I mean nothing by it. Don't read too deep into that. It's just a funny anecdote from like, you know, the, I think it was like two years ago or something. <laughs> these tortoises have to Galapago. Man, I should honestly, next time we do one of these trade sessions, I should just come up with a bunch of like puns to throw up on screen as we go through the different, uh, as we go through the different animals. <laughs> you have to tap out there. Yeah, fair enough. Well, I'm glad you can make it for a little bit. Have yourself a wonderful night's rest, I assume, is why you're tapping out. Uh, thanks for coming through. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a good one, though. Missed Easy S, Gabby. Yeah, me too. It's been a, it's been a while. It feels like it's been a whole month. I like watching because I'll never be able to notice and get through the game like you. 
uh like just deal with all the stuff that it throws at you you mean Maya? Sometimes I like the vid at the beginning, and then when someone says to like the vid, I sometimes to unlike, and then have to relike. <laughs> that's also true. That's the that's that's a good that's a good counterpoint actually. Um, all right, did we say we said seven hundred and seventy seven for these guys, right? Did I already I already put these guys up? I did. What was up? Giant ant eaters is why I'm back here. Sorry, I just love it. I get distracted very easily when uh, when hanging out with chat and stuff. So I apologize. Uh, giant ant eaters. Are there any? We should start taking bets. Do you think there are any on the market? Renee, I mean, we did a lot of merch for uh, for Elite Zoo North when we hit episode 100. Aesthetic Pastel, you got to go as well. Well, thanks for coming through. Have yourself a wonderful night, morning, evening. A wonderful weekend. How about that? Thanks for coming through, though. Hope you had a good time. Uh, building too complex. Oh, yeah, you need a lot of patience to build. That's another funny thing. I see a lot of comments about like, yeah, I thought... I used to yell at the screen when you would like make mistakes while building and then I started building and I understand now. It's like, <laughs> or a lot of people, my first ever episode of Planet Zoo, a lot of people um, in the comments were like, why are you complaining about the pathing so much? It can't be that difficult. Uh, and then quite a few people actually followed up months later being like, hey, my bad. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> I thought that was funny. But yeah, we did a lot of Elite Zoo North uh, swag and I say we because uh, Miss Elite uh, provided her immense talent in producing the uh, the merch, the art for all that merch. We got stickers, shirts, all kinds of stuff, and a lot of it is wordplay for sure. Uh, so if you haven't checked that out, let me know, and I'll uh, I'll drop a link in uh, in, uh, in in chat. Price like eight hundred to a thousand. Let's go. Let's go with a thousand. Why don't we? Why don't we go with a thousand over here? We got Ibra. Yunan, Salim, and Lil Shadow Walker subscribing. Thank you very much. Hope you're having a good time. If it is this you're watching or whatever you're watching, hope you're enjoying it. I should link to that story. You are correct. Let me go ahead and pick that link up. It's funny. We were just talking about merch um, in the Discord as well. Uh, da -da -da -da. If I can find it quickly. There we go. Give me a second here, folks. It won't take me a minute. All right. So here in the chat to grab some... Elite, <laughs> I spelled elite wrong, <laughs> Elite Zoo Co. Merch, check out this link, bam, and pinned, there you go, people watching in the VODs as well, it will be pinned up top, and back to, uh, back to, <laughs> I see your, I see your cries for Elizabeth Merch Wickles, fear not, fear not, don't worry, uh, are you going to be covering Prehistoric Kingdom? That is the hope slash plan. Maybe even sooner, perhaps. Maybe even sooner, perhaps. Um, all right. Uh, so we said, what, like 11-11? Uh, sure. Let's do it. I think, sure. Am I being unreasonable? Am I being silly? Chat, chat you'd stop me, right? If I, if I was being silly. So we got Rui and Francisco. Actually, their names start with my little square bracket T uh, for Rui and for Francisco as well. Let's do one at 11.11, and let's do another at... Nah, let's do one at 11.11. <laughs> keep, it, keep it simple, right? Keep it simple. We got some giant otters next. Both of them named Letitia. One a bronze, one a gold. All right. Let's take a look and get... What am I looking for here? I'm looking for otters. Otters, otters, otters. There we go. Giant otters. Finally. This is the first animal in, like, 10? You're probably right, Cyberwolf. <laughs> Yeah, Wickles, exactly. I, 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 I said it, and the moment I said it, I was like, nah, they, would, they wouldn't they would stop me. <laughs> um, Alright, so, uh, really? 100? 200? 150? These guys aren't, uh, oh. Hey, this is a nice, this is a good update. <laughs> I could dominate the market now. I think 150 is a fair price. 150, and let's do 300, because we have a bronze and a gold, right? So 150 is one of the... Oh, you know what? We got to go at least 250. Let's do 250 and 500. I mean, if if the if the, if the the recommended price is 234, and if released to wild is 141, then uh, I, I think we got to go 250. Hippos, you say, KM? Interesting. Interesting, hippos. Hmm, okay, yeah. I mean, I definitely want to do hippos. I'm not saying they're next. I'm not not saying they're not next. I'm not. I can either confirm nor deny the nextness of hippos or the soonness of hippos. I love dinosaurs, man. 
I love dinosaurs. That's why Prehistoric Kingdom has my eye. <laughs> 251. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> 251 uh, for Letitia, the bronze giant otter. And for uh, for Letitia, the gold giant otter, we will go with 502 then. There you go. <laughs> the market's all mine, Hannah Page. Watch, there's like a hundred of them up there right now. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> all right, we got Jaguars next. Okay, listen. Uh, Tupac will be... I know this isn't tup Tupac with an A. I know it's Tupac with an O. But he's going to be priced differently. All right? Got to be. It, I'm... If he was if it was actually Tupac, I would keep him forever as well. Uh, but he's Tupac, so it'll just be a, a referential pricing. How about that? But Jaguars, let's see how much they go for. We have some really good Jaguars as well. We have some really high quality Jaguars, so I will not be uh, afraid to price them fairly for that. About a thousand to fifteen hundred is the is the call in chat. I'm seeing. What what are the prices out there right now? Looks like fifteen hundred is a fair price. Let's go with let's go with twelve hundred. How about that? What kind of TEs? I recently, I don't think I, I don't think I shared, but I recently had a, I am not exaggerating, hour long chat with my dad about uh, T prep, <laughs> about different ways and different things to try and whatnot. Taking a look at chat real quick, twelve fifty. Twelve fifty seems reasonable as well. Again, the, oh, you know what? These guys aren't even like gold ranked, eh? Sure, let's do 1250. Because I think all of our Jaguars are, yes, gold rank. Look at that. All right, so Tupac, save you for later. So first up is Atlacoya trading for, how much should we say? 1250? 1250. Let's do it. So Atlacoya, folks, Jaguar, going up for 1250. Up you go. We got Xochiotl as well. That's X O C H I Y O T L, going up for. Twelve fifty. I think these are reasonable prices. Saying these names out though is the more unreasonable part. We got Shuta Chutli. Shuta I'm saying that wrong for sure. That is X I U T E C U H T L I going up for twelve fifty. Montezuma. That's a familiar name. Twelve fifty as well, of course. It's keeping it just simple pricing. Itsly over here. Oh, well, looks like a couple of sales went through there. <laughs> Itsly over here going for, whoa, 12.50. The, the screen is like trying to keep up with the trades that are happening. Itsly, 12.50. Off you go. Um, oh, this is weird because the order has been broken. Fix that. Come on. All right. Next up, Shochi over here. X-O-C-H-I-O-L. Shochil, sorry. 1250 as well. Now Tupac. How much does Tupac go for? Got any Tupac fans in in, in chat? I think I I think I gave enough fair warnings over here. Five 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 five. Seems like a fair price. Twenty five hundred. Forty six twenty. Yeah, I think I gave a, I think I gave a fair warning. I mean, when I think when I think numbers in two pack, I think about the seven day theory. So I wonder if we go with, uh, do we play off that? I mean, I don't mind five, 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 five either. You know what? Let's do it. This is a, this is a, this is a prized. What was Tupac's zip code? I think he probably had quite a few over the course of uh, his, uh, his, his varied life. <laughs> but I like the, uh, I like, I like, I like the thinking there for sure. I like thinking there for sure. All right, let's do this. I wonder if we'll get if we'll get any takers, but this is a big one for me. I, w I would not let Tupac go cheaply. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Next up, we have the koalas. Liam. Man, 
years and years of being taught wrong. Every time I say koala, my body naturally wants to say bear right afterwards, as wrong as it is. I've been on this rant before, but like, man. Really? None on the market? That's bonkers, man. Um, What's a fair price for a koala? Zip codes are also five digits, sadly. Huh. Postal codes up in uh, Canada are six. Alphanumeric. Uh, Addo, is that 18, 1870 for the koala? 300? I'm seeing some 700, some 300, some 350 ishes. If you do not know who Tupac is, T U P A C, Tupac is a prolific rapper from, I uh, guess it'd be late 80s, early 90s. Um, ah, oh, like hundreds of albums, probably. Uh, he's a man. Tupac was uh, was my foray into hip hop music. Did I say is ease? Man, was was yes was. Uh, he he he. That's why he's a he's a big deal. He he got me into the musical genre that I am maybe the uh, biggest like. The, the one that is the most dominant in my life. Uh, so he's a bit of a big deal for me. Oh, 187. Would have, oh, damn, that would have been good. I didn't even think about... Man, ah, that would have been good. 187 or 808. <laughs> now I got some Snoop stuck in my head. I love it. All right, good stuff. Um, Liam, Liam, Liam. Let's go with... Uh, let's go with, I see some... three. Let's, let's go with 300. I see some 300, some 500. You know what? Let's go Let's go 450. Right down the middle. Oh, some of the numbers I'm seeing there. So Liam, our koala, for 450. Off you go, buddy. Make uh, make us rich. A quality opportunity to turn a profit. <laughs> Always on point, Natalie. Always on point. I love it. <laughs> All right, so Carrie over here is actually just a youth. Send you back to the zoo. Of course, I got to do this. Come on. All right. Oh, the zoo is so big. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All the way across. The zoo is massive. There we go. Oh, change the scenery over here. Different background now. All right, cool. Uh, what do we have? You know what I forgot to do is uh, keep an eye out on what we started with and where we are right now. We'd have to back it up on the uh, on, uh, on 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 the VOD to check it. Uh, all right, Tupac. No, no takers for Tupac yet. Look at these stats though. These are excellent stats. Also, these so guys are all up. You're up, Kerry. You are on your way to Kangaroo Kuyong. All right. Mini Gululu is our first red kangaroo to go up for how much red kangaroo, right? Where are we here? Right, I gotta uncheck you as well. Red kangaroo, there we go. Confirm that. No, no, that was that was my bad. Uh Ado, that was my bad. <laughs> I didn't I didn't catch the reference there. Alright, looks like wow, this is a huge price discrepancy. This is a huge price discrepancy um, between <laughs> between a thousand and two hundred and sixty. Okay, that's a range. Recommended price is twenty. All right, you know how the warthogs were our like kind of meme price last time. I think it's gonna be the kangaroos this time. We don't have as many. Actually, we do have quite a few. What's a good price for for kangaroos? Two fifty. We want to do like uh, two fifty. You want to do like a, like a four twenty or you know because they I don't know they hop real high or something. Two two fifty. I see a couple of two fifties actually. 800? Ah, I like that number. <laughs> One sec, folks. I need a quick drip, uh, drink of water, but let me know Let me know your thoughts. And folks, we're well past that 100 viewer count right now. I'd love to see the like count chase that, I suppose. How about the tree fitty? <laughs> All right, I see the 666 as well. You know what? Let's do 420. <laughs> you thought they were albino rabbit? Dude, I legit, okay, listen. Yes, I think the same. Every time I look at the albino red kangaroos in the trade center, I go, rabbits, when did Planet Zoo get rabbits? <laughs> Every time. I'm not even, like, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not making this up to be funny. I don't do that. Legit. I go like, what? <laughs> rabbit? Oh, right. Albino kangaroos. Uh, all right, let's go with the uh, 420. Again, because they because they jump so so high. I don't <laughs> start it at 58,320. I don't. Oh, oh, thank you. 
Thank you very much for uh, for for going back and checking that. Wow, we've uh, we've uh, we've made some we've made some conservation credits then. Awesome. So far, so good. So far, so good. All right, Ming Mini Glulu. So I think we're the. I think there's only so many that are up for conservation. Oh, we'll be like the only ones again dominating the market. All right, let's do it. So Mini Glulu is going up first. Off you go, buddy. Hop away. Koa is our next red kangaroo. They're also almost all gold rank, right? Except for Umbara over here. So Koa is up next. Go for it. Uh, Koa Lati kangaroo. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Birani is up next. Off you go, Birani. Giemba. I assume is how that's pronounced. That's Giemba starting with a J I E M B A. 420. And Umbara as well. Who are we to judge who gets a who gets a medal and who doesn't? We'll go for the same price. Pygmy hippos for sure. I will add uh, pygmy hippos. Uh, timeouts last for a preset amount of time. I can't untimeout somebody once they've been timed out. Uh, so that's a good reason to not spam. <laughs> the Elder Gamer, you headed out? Sounds good, buddy. Thanks for coming through. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful night, I assume. I will try and stay healthy. The same goes for you. As <laughs> scintillating as a stream is. I love that. Scintillating. Good word. Strong word. Sounds good, buddy. Thanks for coming through. Have a good one. So far, I got three, says Alyssa Stanton. You got a jaguar, an anteater, and a kangaroo. Nice, nice. That that collection grows. Good stuff. Uh, feel free, by the way, if you follow me on Twitter, and if you have a Twitter account, feel free to, like, tweet at me, by the way. Uh, like if you've got like enclosures and stuff, I, I always love seeing that kind of stuff. I love, uh, I'll just love seeing what folks are up to, especially with these animals as they go out there and, uh, and find new homes. All right. The red ruffed lemurs. These are all the children of the queen of Kenya. Let us not forget. I need to watch, um, that, oh God, back to America, coming back to America, back to America. Oh, I'm forgetting the name now. I need to watch that. The sequel. I haven't seen it yet, but Red Ruffed Lemur is the topic right now. What are we looking at here? 500s. Prices go real, real low, real cheap. Uh, I think 250 is probably fair. Hippity hoppity, the kangaroo is no longer your property. <laughs> That's probably one of my favorite, like, rhyming things. Hippity hoppity, whatever property. I just... <laughs> If ant eaters are called ant eaters and Canadians should be called maple eaters. Ah. Uh. <laughs> there's a there's a popular dish in Canada called beaver tail. It's a pastry dish. I'm going to leave I'm going to leave it at that. They are ready to get traded out. To dive on in. <laughs> they must be priced high. They are the prince and princesses of Kenya. Exactly, right? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, what do we think? Okay, I'm not, I'm not thinking a billion or whatever that is. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? 158? I see a 158. You know, that's the first price I see. That's what we'll go with. Let's do it. Wait, hold on. 158. Hang on a second. Nice try. You almost got me there. 158 is a lot lower than I was going for. Man, I'm not at the top of my game of uh, of haggling when it's like nearly one o'clock in the morning. Eh? <laughs> let's go with let's go with uh, 258. 300. I see some 300s. All right, let's go with 300 then. Let's do this. Red roughed. Almost clicked on red five there. Uh, trade you four. 300. So first up is Mahafali. For 300. Majoro is up next. Red Ruffed Lemurs, folks. Another 300. And then Siori over here. For another 300. There we go. All right, now we got some interesting stuff with the uh, with the with the saltwater crocs as well. You guys might remember this when we first got the uh, uh, the snakes um, as well in, in Maraguan Mansion. But uh, an old friend of mine from middle school went by the name Bathara. Good friend of mine. Great friend of mine. Um, so we're going to be pricing these guys a little differently. But the other saltwater crocs, let's see what uh, what the market rate is. Saltwater crocs. Where are you? Where is the letter S in the alphabet? After the letter R. Trust me, I know my alphabet. I think, yes, yeah, saltwater croc. All right, here we go. 115. 
Come on. No metal or anything, though. What's a fair price for a saltwater croc? Can't be this cheap, considering there are none. Beaver tails are great, Emily. I'm, I'm glad at least... I'm glad, I'm, glad, I'm glad I'm not the only one who knows what beaver tails are. They are delicious. If you're ever in Canada, you can find beaver tails. They're amazing. Some hazelnut spread on top. Mmm. Wonderful time. See some 500s, some 600s. 600. I see two 600s. See a 501. See some 400s. Let's go with... How about we go with... Uh, well, yeah, it's all, it's all gold across the board. Why don't we go with uh, 450? I feel like that's kind of like roughly in the middle of most of those uh, suggestions there. So how about we go with 450 then? Uh, so first up is using my square bracket naming for the letter T for trade is Buana going for 450. Off you go. Next up, we have Budi for 450. Whoop. That's my bad. 450. <gasps> the backspace works. Man, I get excited about some, some of the silliest stuff <laughs> with this game sometimes, but the backspace used to not work smoothly, and, and now it does. And <laughs> it makes me happy that these simple things are, are working now. Galang is next for 450 as well. Then we have Perdana going up again. These are all saltwater crocodiles, folks, for another 450 over here. Kaya is up next. That's C A H Y A for another 450. And you know what? Batara, old buddy, old pal for a thousand. Best friend back in middle school. There you go. Bam. 451. Yeah, I should I should always just do like that one. The the the, the price is right uh, approach to stuff. You got Galang awesome, <laughs> as if I'm awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's, I think it's so cool that this, like, legit works. I often get worried. It's like, oh, what if, uh, what if, uh, you know, somebody else scoops them up? I mean, yeah, it's still nice, but it's like, it's it's nice to have it happen with the with the live stream and whatnot. Good stuff, Zafamo. Have I loved animals my whole childhood? A hundred percent. I remember one of my earliest memories, and I might actually have this wrong because I was so young, but one of my earliest memories with regards to my attachment with animals was when we were living, I think at the time we were living in uh, Yugoslavia, I think it was, because otherwise I'd be too young. It was probably Yugoslavia. And I think our upstairs neighbor or our downstairs, someone someone in our building or near our building had a dog. And when we had to leave the country, and again, I might be getting this wrong, um, so I might be a little off here. I'll need to like double check the story with my brother or like my, my parents or something. But when we had to leave the country, uh, I, I, I like this dog a lot because I love dogs ever since I was a kid. Um, when we had to leave the country and we were packing up, I, I was like curious as to why we weren't packing up the dog as well, because why isn't the dog coming with us? That's how I remember it. <laughs> That's how I remember it, at least. But again, I was like maybe like three or four. <laughs> so, you know, how, how good is the memory of, uh, of, of, of that? I have, I, have, uh, I have some distinct memories from that age. We had a pet uh, hamster called Flip. We called him Flip because every time he would, he would climb the cage and you'd stick your finger in to pet him and he would backflip off of it. Good times. <laughs> Good times, childhood. Uh, <laughs> Southern cassowaries are up next. Southern cassowaries, where are we? But yeah, I've, I've, always, I've always loved animals. Um, I think in my... I think I had one bad experience with a dog once. It was unfortunate. Uh, I, I, I got bit by a dog once and I think just... Uh, deep down inside somewhere for years after that, I would start getting nervous around dogs, um, which is unfortunate because I love dogs. Can you imagine? Like, can you Im like, man, that was unpleasant. Uh, but I think, I, I, again, I never thought I was worried about dogs, but people kept saying, it's like, why are you so worried about like near friendly dogs? Like, why are you so worried? Why are you so nervous? It's like, I'm not nervous. I'm petting this dog fine. I'm, but apparently I, uh, I got nervous because I got bit once. All right, we got Southern Cassowaries up next. These guys are also, again, no conservation credit prices. What do y'all think? Big dino burbs for 400 I like that price. I see a 500 to 600 call. We go like 450 kind of like split that down the middle-ish. Ado, how many different places have I lived? Oh, quite a few. Uh, lived, lived? One, two, three. Uh, five. V, I think. 
And I was born in a sixth, but I was like, I think I was like less than a year old when we left there. So <laughs> out of that counts. 400 I see, I see 456. Sure, you know what? Let's go with the 456. Why not? How did, how did that go, Samantha? First time meeting a dog that I can remember was when my babysitter brought over her doggo. How did, how did, that's the weirdest way I've ever said doggo. Uh, how did that go? <laughs> how, uh, how old were you? And, and how big was the dog? <laughs> uh, all right, where, where do we go? Where are our southern cassowaries? So how did I say? I said 456. Let's do it. 456. First up is Waru. They're both called Waru. That's W-A-R-U, Waru for 456. Off you go. Waru number one. And Waru number two for 456. Next up, we have a spotted hyena. Bulla Nile. Another reference to the Nile, where we, which we just finished last session. All right, the hyena. I know we have quite a few hyena fans, at least in the, uh, in the comments. Uh, what kind of pricing are we... All right, it's a spotted hyena, right? Yes. What kind of pricing do y'all think? Make the cassowaries a castaway. <laughs> <laughs> my lord alright spotted hyena is also not on the market this is going to be strange coming back I know I said it before but I'll say it again it's going to be strange coming back seems we have we have yet to have any takers for the saltwater crocs I think I don't think uh, these guys have gone out yet so they are still out there 1,700 I think 1,000 1,000 for I mean it's not like Really? I think a thousand might be a little, a little too high. Six hundred, seven hundred. Sure, let's hit six hundred on this one. Why not? Let's go with the six hundred. So we got Bola Nile going up for six hundred. That's a spotted hyena, folks. And now we've got Talib and Bakari, two West African lions. These should be big ticket items. What are we looking at? West African lions. W West African lions. What do you got for me? What do you got for me? All right, we're looking at some big numbers here. 7,900, 6,000, 5,000. These guys are almost uh, almost out. 2,003 for the Lions. Wait, why 2,003? I'm curious. That's a very specific number. Hyenas are rare with good genes. That's, that's for sure. I remember that when I was looking for hyenas too. 1,000 to 1,500? That low, you're thinking? Because these guys are these guys are very pricey. I want to stay fair, but I want to stay fair to uh, the Elite Zoo Company as well, right? I'm thinking like maybe 4,500 isn't a bad number. What do you all think? 4,500? I see a couple 6,500s. I feel like that's on the higher end. I see a couple 3,500 approximately. The Party Elite clock number, 1337, that's super low. But I will use that for something. That's a good idea. I should use, I should just use that as the meme number every time we need a meme number. I also found it really funny when I was like, haha, 1337, elite in, in, it's like, it's elite in elite speak. And uh, like four people got it. <laughs> Those 5Ks haven't sold, true. But it's also a matter of like, is anybody looking right now? That is a good point, though. 4,400? 4,500 seems fair. Let's go, let's go with 4,500. I, I, I do think that's a fair price. These guys are... Oh, damn. <laughs> this uh, straight center is empty almost. All right. So, Talib over here. Actually, on the topic of hip-hop artists. Talib Kweli. Kweli? I'm probably saying that wrong. Another excellent, excellent hip-hop artist. Highly recommend. All right. What do we say? We said uh, 4,500. Sure, let's go with 4,500. I think I think that's every time 4,500. Um, it's because I'm using my other hand. Um, yeah, I think that's a fair price. The Lion King came out in 1994. Oof, it's a while ago. Damn. <laughs> Bakari up next. 4,500 too. I, I do genuinely believe that's a, it's a fair price. These, these, these genes are good. Remember, fertility and immunity are a bit more variable. Uh, size and longevity make a huge difference. And look, like these are, these are good genes. These are really good genes. Next up, and I guess finally, we have our Western Lowland Gorillas. 
where are we? Western. You know, I really like that we did this in alphabetical order because it's been so easy to go through this uh, like list as well. The trade center looks so different now. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, I can't quite can't quite put my finger on it. Sixty five hundred, eh? Decent stats on this one. Sixty five hundred is the price there right now. These guys are gold rank. They've got good stats as well. Ogbana and Ipiana, both of them. Cool Napoleon. Hey, hey, glad you made it. Fifty nine seventy six for gorillas before I go to get to sleep. Fifty nine seventy six. I. Uh, what's the significance of this number? That's so specific. Fifty six hundred. What do we, what do we say this price was again? Sixty five. Oh, I just uh, just flip it. Ah, uh, you know what, Nisar? You you've you've asked for this a couple a few times. I'm gonna do one of them at six nine six nine for you. How about that? You, you asked for it a couple times, and then I haven't got it yet. So why don't we why don't we do that? Ogbona over here going for 6969. A very nice price. A twice nice price. Trade Center is almost empty. In fact, um, if we if we get the West African Lions and the Lowland Gorillas out, it'll be the emptiest it can be because Red 5 is staying and uh, Carrie needs to go to Kangaroo Kuyong because uh, she's too young <laughs> to be traded. <laughs> Tabby. <laughs> Ipiana. Uh, let's go with uh, what was the what was this was this was what was it, it was sixty five hundred? Yeah, so we'll go with fifty six hundred. Why not? Let's go with fifty six hundred over here. Again, these are these are good quality animals. So these are not unfair prices, I would say. And there you have it. So no takers yet for our lions. They're still up for grabs. Uh, Carrie is of course going over to uh, be delivered. And look at that number. I'm almost a gorillionaire. <laughs> <laughs> it just popped up another another couple of what, what what is the what is the transition point into gorillionaire <laughs> i need to know now <laughs> what number makes one a gorillionaire red five will be all alone with no friends hey now you think we don't visit the animals in the trade center every like every few every few minutes every few days every few hours They'll have plenty of company. Did you go around the zoo and go ahead and take out the other animals that need to leave before starting? Uh, I don't think we have um, too many situations at the moment, do we? Habitat has become invalid. What? what? Why? How, what? I didn't change anything here. I haven't been here in a month. How did it break? Why did you do this? To, what's go? Why? What? 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 Oh, okay, I see. Uh, that should be easy enough to fix. There we go. Weird. I don't remember doing that, but I must have. I must have done it by mistake at some point while working up over here. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's take a quick peek over here. Alright, still got some uh, West African lions and the Western Lowland gorillas waiting to go, rearing to go. But uh, let's, uh, I guess a good way, to, what's, a, what's a good way to like check uh, surplus animals? We don't have any warnings for uh, overcrowding or anything. That would be a good uh, good way to kind of check. Mute Fox start ended up getting Adolfo the Aldabra Tortoise, Letitia the Giant Otter, and Liam the Koala. Awesome, that's a good haul, sweet. Again, like I said, folks, I mean, if you have like enclosures and stuff, if you like, like tweet them at me, share them with me. I love, I love seeing it, but, uh, but that's awesome. That's, that, that, that is a good, uh, that is a good haul. Did they change the color of the null barriers? They did. They're like a more, br they're a brighter blue now. Yeah, they did. Um, I think we're fine over here. In fact, we want as many animals as we have right now. The saltwater crocs over here, I think we're fine. Uh, we have a lot of kids who will be becoming adults, you know, sometime soon. And then we'll have, <laughs> we'll have another hundred saltwater crocs in the, uh, in the trade center. And then we'll, uh, we'll have to cross that bridge when we get there. But I think we are, I mean, I know we don't have too many koalas or dingoes or anything. Yeah, I think we're pretty well good. So, uh, one thing that I mentioned right at the beginning of this stream as well is I want to kind of talk about what comes next for the zoo. Okay, Elite Zoo South has quite a bit to go still. We have, I mean, gee, I don't, I don't even, I don't even know how to, how to begin to. Like, if I look at this screen alone, right? One, one, two, three. Uh, da, 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 da. four. I assume, yeah, four. Five, six. We have a lot of animals. We have a lot of animals to go. Now, I have plans for this area. 
Should I share them, or do you guys prefer to be surprised? That's the question, I guess. I'm I'm a I'm a fan of a I'm a fan of a good surprise. But what do you guys think? You want to talk about my plans for this area? Because I've had them for a while, and I'm excited to start uh, start digging into them. Uh, you know, let's go ahead and I'll I'll, I'll 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 why don't we do this? Why don't we do one of these? Why don't why don't we why don't we let democracy make the decision here? If I could just find there we go <laughs> the polls. Um, share or surprise. So hang in there, folks. I will we'll do a we'll do a proper poll. We'll do a proper poll over here. Share surprise. That was my, I should have I should have totally um. <laughs> Coming up with clever hints at one o'clock in the morning. I'm is probably gonna be a bit of a challenge over here <laughs> i'll be honest uh but let's go ahead and i'll try and come up with some hints the next time for, for next time for the for the vod that's coming up all right let's go ahead and start this though uh so the way to vote folks is uh is to type exclamation mark vote put a space and then you type either zero or one. Zero is for share one is for surprise so you see the format over there Use that format to get your vote in, and then uh, and then I'll 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 make a I'll use that as a call. And then again, if 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 the call is to share, then anybody who still wants a surprise, uh, heads up. And it, it looks like surprise is uh. Oh, wow. Okay, this is going interestingly. It's like one 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 two one three 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 seven 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 eight nine eight. Now oh, this is nine nine ten nine. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> this is very interesting. Team abstain. Oh, did uh, did Natalie abstain as well? <laughs> I preemptively abstain, says Natalie, and E's joining in with the abstaining as well. Uh, 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 abstaining, uh, abs abstention, abstention. <laughs> There's another word for it, isn't there? Maybe share just a little bit. Maybe just the animals, not the layout. That's an option as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Could do that. I'm gonna let the poll stay up for uh, a little bit longer. I'm going to uh, drink some water over here, losing my voice, and. Uh, and keep an eye on this poll, and then we'll uh, we'll call it there. Remember, by the way, also your vote only counts once, so uh, there's no point voting multiple times. But make sure you have the right format. I see a few of you, David Ibarra, uh, and I think uh, 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 Chalo Chant as well. Make sure it's exclamation mark the word vote, no space in between, and then there's a space and then the number. Make sure you get it. Uh, make sure you get the format right, because otherwise it won't count. Jam slam, same as you, no parentheses. Uh, I just want to make sure everyone's vote does get counted. And if you do try and vote multiple times, it only counts your first vote. So make sure your first vote is the one that you want because <laughs> that is the one that comes through. I see uh, Angel Graves as well. Uh, make sure there's a space between the word vote and the number. Grabbing your cup of chamomile, Natalie. So I recently ordered um, tea from... Well, let me have a sip of water first. All right, so... I recently ordered tea from this company uh, called Vadam. Never heard of them before, but I was looking for some teas, and I was like, you know, we're doing the uh, Crusader Kings 3 Bengal run, and uh, why not, As when we were doing the Maghrebi run, I was having Maghrebi tea, uh, and I normally have black teas anyway, but I was like, why not, let's go the extra mile and order some teas straight from India for uh, for this Bengali run. So I ordered these teas from this company called Vadam Teas, and they're, they're pretty cool, actually. They uh, pick, package, and ship directly from India, and uh, and they uh, they um, like they, I mean, they're all about like freshness and all that kind of stuff. And they actually are they take part in this like charitable thing as well. They have this charitable social initiative, whatever you want to call it, uh, called Teach Me, like Teach Me, uh, which means that a percent of their revenue goes to funding the education of the. Uh, tea plantation workers as children's and stuff, which I think is really cool. Uh, I think that's awesome. Um, but yeah, so I ordered these teas from these guys, and I ordered an Assam, a Darjeeling, and a Nilgiri. Uh, I'd never had Nilgiri tea in my life before. I've had Assam and Darjeeling in the past. Uh, the first funny thing is when I popped open the boxes, they have a quote from Rabindranath Tagore, who is a famous Bengali poet. Um, so that was kind of funny. I'm ordering these teas uh, as a reference to this Bengal run that we're doing, and then you've got a Bengal Bengali poet referenced in the packaging, so that was funny. But the moment I cracked open the Assam tea package, um, loose leaf, the smell hit me like a brick. I was like, oh, this smells like my childhood. Uh, which is what prompted that hour-long call I was telling you about earlier 
uh, with my dad about tea prep and stuff. Because I, I called my parents like basically that night. I was like, "Hey, so when when we, when we were kid, when, when I was when I was a child, what was the tea we used to have at home?" Uh, it turns out it was Assam tea. I was like, "Oh my god! All right, cool." And I I I the smell triggered all that nostalgia. Nostalgia does come through the nose. It does really. Um, and uh, and I was like, "Wow, okay." I'm glad I recognized it. Uh, how, how did, how did mom used to like prep the tea? So I talked to my, my mom about like how she used to prep the tea, like how to put the milk in and how to boil the milk with the water and how long to wait and all that kind of stuff. I was like, wow, you know, gotten so used to just dropping the tea bag in, uh, in the, in the, in the water. I was like, all right, this is, this is a bit of an effort, but totally worth it. And, uh, and then I spoke to my dad for an hour about how, the different ways to prep tea, the different kinds of teas, different ways to mix tea. So now that's an adventure I'm going on. Anyway, I feel like that rant has taken us for long enough to, uh, to call this, uh, this poll over here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, stop the polling. So I decided I'd use a ramble to, to, to help time the, uh, the voting. That's how, that's how all <laughs> elections should be determined. Wouldn't straw poll have been easier? Uh, maybe, but then uh, we wouldn't be able to, you know what? That is a smart suggestion. <laughs> that is a smart suggestion. The winning option was actually surprise. So it seems, actually, it was a very close call. It was 17 to 18. Surprise just barely won. Just want to point out that hippos need so much more space than you'd expect. Once their herd size starts getting up, make sure you have room for expansion. And you check populations before building. That is good to know, Rachel Buck. I think uh, I think that's been mentioned before, but I did forget. So that is that is definitely good to know. Ratatouille moment, or do you mean ratatouille moment? <sighs> oh my God! Scent is such an underappreciated sense. Well, so yeah, the thing is, like our olfactory lobe in our brain is very close to our what is it? The frontal lobe, I think, which is where like long-term memories are stored. So you'll have, which is why smell uh, will trigger a lot of memories. Like it is how we work. Rabindranath Tagore was the first Asian to win the Nobel Prize, uh, Nobel, Nobel Peace Prize, the Nobel Prize in Literature. Yes, that is true. And he is also uh, a fellow, if I'm not mistaken. He rejected one of those, if I recall correctly. Uh, cool, Napoleon. Headed off. Sounds good, buddy. I hope, you're, I hope I didn't miss you saying goodbye. But have yourself a wonderful night, evening, morning, whatever it might be. Have yourself a wonderful weekend. Thanks for coming through. Thoroughly appreciate the tea stories. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have plenty. I'm gonna start experimenting with all these uh, things that my dad was telling me about. I just make sweet iced tea. Honestly, with how hot it is these days, I might need some iced tea. Nah, nothing, nothing quite hits like uh, like some good strong black tea. <laughs> Democracy is often helpful just by one vote, eh? By one vote. Stop ranting about tea. I'll rant about whatever I want to rant about. <laughs> So, all right, I'll, I'll do, what I'll do is, I saw some mentions of, like, uh, you know, give us an idea of, like, what animal might be coming next, uh, but, um, but, uh, but without getting too specific. All right, how, how about, uh, hmm, trying to figure out the best way to, uh, to, 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 to categorize these. So, I have plans in this area, uh, I have plans in this area for primates and one, at least, of the types of hippos. As Tabby Tastic comes through with a super chat, have to go. Thanks for the live stream. Catch you all next episode. Thank you very much, Tabby Tastic, for coming through with that super chat. As I was saying earlier, I will say so again. It helps so much with these streams. It helps so much with the channel. So I appreciate it greatly. Thank you very much. And do have yourself a wonderful rest of your day, you know, morning, evening, afternoon, night, whatever it might be. Have a wonderful weekend. And yes, catch you with the next episode, buddy. Again, thanks for coming through and thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it greatly. I'm gonna I'm gonna have some I'm gonna have some tea after the stream for sure. I'm gonna have some tea. For sure. Mute Fox out door trying new tea. I'm subscribed to Dollar Tea Club. Wait, is Dollar Tea Club an actual thing? <laughs> I can I can actually highly recommend uh, the teas that I order. They're uh they were, they're delicious. Very aromatic, very tasty. Quite liked it. Rant with Party is a show I would love to watch every day. Man, isn't every episode with me a rant? Chalachant, headed out. Sounds good, buddy. Thanks for coming through. Have yourself a wonderful day, man. Thanks for dropping by. Enjoy the weekend. Such a dilemma.
he rejected the English knighthood. That's what it was, right? So, yeah, I remember he rejected one thing. I forget which one it was. If it was the, uh, the, the, pr the, the Nobel Prize or if it was the knighthood. He rejected the knighthood. Yes, that's what it was. Given the uh, <laughs> situation of the subcontinent at the time. Live in West Bengal near Darjeeling. Hey, awesome. <laughs> I, I love Darjeeling tea. I think for me, it's like Assam is top and then Darjeeling is a close second. And then Nilgiri I've never had before. I'm curious to try that. Nilgiri is from like uh, like South India, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's gonna be a late night. It's gonna be a late night, Natalie. Tea at any tea at any time. Vadam tea is quality. <laughs> I should talk to them about a sponsorship deal before I start saying those things out loud. I am yet to be able to try Barry's uh, black blend. Is when I end up. Well, <laughs> if you're still on that island when I get there. When I end up on that island, I expect to share a couple with you. And uh, and we'll see what the fuss is all about. Dilma tea is a nice Sri Lankan tree. I'll try that out. And I, I want to try noon chai out as well, like noon tea, like salty tea from uh, Kashmir. Anyway, folks, <laughs> this is becoming a tea stream. This is becoming a stream, eh? Oh, that one was kind of weak. Uh, I think I've I've revealed, I guess, all I would, uh, I would reveal at this point. But yes, over here we are planning, or we, I... Together, we will come together and make some beautiful spaces for some primates. I figured it makes sense having them close to the gorilla. I will say, if you want some hints, the river, think about the rivers in Africa, I guess. The river plays a key role in the evolutionary process of at least some of these primates. I'll throw that out there. Uh, and as far as the hippos are concerned, I mean, maybe we'll do one, maybe we'll do both. What I'm wondering is which one we'd like to see first. So let me know in the comments or in chat. Uh, which uh, which you're more excited to see first. It's not going to be a vote per se, because I have ideas for, for all of the above. So it kind of is a matter of like what inspires me when I'm sitting down to record the next episode. Uh, but it will be work over here. And what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and go kind of like we did over here. Just bam, 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 bam. Get like three or four enclosures done in quick succession and then loop back for some, uh, for some uh, beauty passes, I think. But folks, I think with that said, Let's call it a stream. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys had a wonderful time just ranting about all sorts of stuff and getting all the trading done. I see a couple of guesses coming through with regards to what animals it might be. And I also see, I think David Ibarra had to go. All right, sounds good, David. I hope uh, I'm not too late in saying farewell. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day and weekend. But yes, let's call it over here, folks. I hope you had a good time. Again, it's, it's, it's a little different doing these live streams, but uh, we get to hang out, we get to chill, we get to just kind of vibe a little bit, I guess, and just, it's a very different kind of environment. Got to trade the animals. In fact, I think, before we call it, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. We did it, folks. We did it. As empty as the animal storage could be, we've done it. Am I still doing the safari ride? I am indeed Ado. The plan is, is it Ado or is it ADO? Let me know, please. Uh, the plan is that I will have them all have their individual enclosures and then we'll do a grand safari as well, just so we can spend some more time with the individual animals as well. But yeah, we did it. Awesome. Good stuff, folks. Good stuff. But yes, I do hope you had a good time. I see uh, some of y'all saying you had a great time. Thrilled about my new crocodile. Sounds good, Zafamo. Yeah, again, share your, uh, you know, share your enclosures and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, but yes, folks, have yourselves a wonderful night, evening, morning, whatever it may be. Again, thank you for coming through. Thank you for joining on your way out. If you had a good time, make sure you hit that like button. Again, if you're not watching live, if you're watching the VOD, same goes for you as well. If you had a good time experiencing just like, you know, the, the, the vibe, the chill vibes and stuff, leave a like, leave a comment. If you didn't have a good time, leave a comment. Let me know. Again, I use feedback all the time. Uh, ah, I see ado, like further ado. Gotcha. All right. Awesome. I will remember that for the future. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, I always take feedback into account. So do share it. Do let me know. Um, but uh, apart from that, again, thank you all for joining in. A massive thanks to our super chatters today, our newest member and our donator as well. And of course, a, oh, of course it's not good. Why does it do that? Every once in a while, I literally use the same thing this morning. Same thing this morning. And then for some reason today, it's like now, it's like, no, not going to work. There we go. A massive thanks to all of the channel members and patrons who have been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Again, y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. Again, next session, as a reminder, we'll be having a conversation about animal sponsor boards and uh, and uh, staff naming and stuff like that. Uh, so that'll be in the comments of the next session. I'll get the call out there. Remember as well, if you do want to check out some of the Elite Zoo style like merch and stuff, that link is pinned to the top of the chat box. So 
feel free to check that as well. Of course, as well, though, thank you all, like I said earlier, for joining in. Without all of you, well, literally, we wouldn't be here. Folks, have yourself a beautiful weekend. I'll catch you next time. Until then, cheers.